I'm Vanessa Canby and in this video I'm taking you to Apollonia City where I'll be showing you $50,000 detached homes in Ghana. Please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when part two of this video comes out where I'll be interviewing the CEO of Apollonia City. Apollonia City is a masterminded development. It's a mixed use and mixed income urban development designed to provide housing for 100,000 residents to be finished in around 25 years. So this is the early stages and it's over 2,325 acres. First I headed to Bijou Homes which is a residential development within Apollonia City. Here I am at Bijou Homes in Apollonia City and these are affordable homes these actually go for $50,000 and you can extend, this is a one bedroom, you can extend it to two bedrooms for an extra $10,000. So let's have a look. The location is about an hour and 15 minutes away from Accra, the center of Accra. This is the living room. And with this one, you get the view of the mountains. Which is really, really nice. Spacious room here. And then we'll go through to the first and only bedroom. So here is the bedroom. And then we go to the toilet and shower, which is just here. And then this is the guest bathroom. I don't, I mean, restroom. Guest restroom. So idea there. And to give you an idea, if you do want to extend to two bedrooms, you knock through the wall just behind Peter here. So you'll see this wall here would be knocked through this wall. And I'll show you outside where it would be extended to. This is a storeroom. And then this is the kitchen. What you can see is it's such a nice, peaceful area and I'm sure that this area will be developing rapidly. Obviously, Apollonia City. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about Apollonia City later, but it is developing rapidly. So you'll see here, the ex this is the garden, a nice size. Um, but if you want to extend, your second bedroom would come out here. So it would come out here, so you would have another bedroom and toilet. This is really, really nice. Honestly, looking at the hills, such a beautiful view. And you can get around the side of your property. And now let's look at their two bedroom semi-detached. So this one was detached. The next one is going to be semi-detached. What's the term when you buy it? Um, how long is the lease? Currently 87 years. 87. 87 years. This is not a term. This is the one bedroom which is expandable. Okay. So the one bedroom, you have two types. You have the one that you can expand to two and one you can expand to three. Okay. Uh, the difference is basically the plot size, but then internally, in terms of design and structure, everything is the same. Okay. So, there's a the one bedroom, as you can see over there. Yeah. And then the person is expanding and adding two more rooms to it. So, it's so going to be a three bedroom. Now, make it a three bedroom. And then, this is also a one bedroom, which someone expanded and then made it a three bedroom. Now we are still at Bijou Homes and this is the two bedroom terraced house and the only difference being that for one it's on two levels and for two you can't expand it and this one's $70,000.
So when you come in, there's this big living space, living dining. You could have your dining room table there. And then into the kitchen. Simple, just like the last one. They have 15 of these available, whereas they only have two of the, um, the detached available for sale. And then there's a store room in there. And the door to the garden also there. And then there is the guest toilet downstairs. And then we'll head upstairs. So what's so, so nice about these bedrooms is that you get the view of the hills. So peaceful. And then there's the ensuite in both rooms. So this is the first ensuite. And this is the second ensuite. Again, you get a different view of the hills. And because you're, you're higher, you get probably more of a breeze coming through as well. And then the ensuite again. So if somebody wants to buy one, what's the payment plan? All right, so we have basically three forms of payment plan. The first one is the mortgage. The second one is the cash payment. With the mortgage, we have two types of people that we deal with, resident and non-resident. If the person is a resident, the person makes a minimum deposit of 15% and then can apply for a mortgage. But then if the person is a non-resident, the person has to make a minimum deposit of 30% okay. and the bank can finance up to 70% of the loan amount. Okay. That is with the mortgage. With the cash installment, you have a maximum of two years to complete payment. So the person also makes a minimum deposit down of 15% or more. Then the outstanding balance is spread for a maximum of either 12 months, 15 months or 24 months for the person to finish That's payment. good. Very good yeah. and flexible. So what is Apollonia City? Right, okay, so Apollonia City is a private city development and being undertaken by a firm known as Rendeva. And the business model for Rendeva is to buy large tracts of land, roll out the infrastructure, and invite third parties to do the top structure development. 2,300 acres of land that has been purchased by Rendeva. The 2,300 acres of land has now been master planned and reused for different land users. So within Apollonia City, we have residential enclaves, lands for an industrial park. We have lands for social users like schools, churches, hospitals, the like. We have local businesses so that where you typically find your corner shop or a small retail space. So in a nutshell, that is what Apollonia City is. The area is what we refer to as the Oxford in Apollonia City. The Oxford is a partnership between Apollonia City as a company and Imperial Homes, where Apollonia City's stake in the joint venture is serviced land, all right? And Imperial Homes comes in with the construction and we've developed this, what is supposed to be 400 units for targeted at the middle income. Started with the first and currently have some 84 units at different stages of completion. The two bed semi detached goes for 86,000 and rises gradually to our newest product, which is up there um, a four bedroom townhouse, which goes for 175,000. Okay, so this is a three bedroom detached unit. Um, it has 
three and two bedrooms, hall, 11 area, a kitchen and a guest room. And, um, however, as far as the bathrooms are concerned, you can either have a choice of having three ensued bedrooms or one master bedroom that is ensued bathroom and the two other rooms sharing, sharing you know, a bathroom. And all of these come, so the price points will be differ slightly depending on which one you choose. So this typically would have the first bedroom here. In all, it is 126 square meters. Your first bed in suite's bedroom, and the bedroom is about some 14 square meters and a two square meter bathroom. Um, the second room is very similar to this in terms, in terms of dimensions, also 13 square meter with an in suite's bathroom. Usually, people, 22 three square meters as this bathroom is as quite spacious as you would see comes with this one WC and a shower with, with, a, with a glass curtain. The master bedroom which is on this side however is, is slightly bigger. Okay. That is 16 square meters and fit, fit for the house owner. Mm. 16 square meters nice. and with a, more, with a little more elaborate bathroom. All right, so the second variant to this design is having the first two bedrooms which visited share a common bathroom okay. and it reduces the price point slightly. This is your 13 meter, 13 square meter um, kitchen with a little store space for you. And for the basic price, you get this, you know, this level of cabinets oh, done for you. Nice. There is a door that leads to, to, nice. to, to a backyard at the back, yes. Great, thanks. And so how much is this one? What's the two price differences? So, so this one with all three bedrooms being a suit would go for 111,000. Okay. Um, with just, with one a suit bedroom and the two others sharing the bedroom, it comes down to 105,000. Okay. US dollars um, Great, for emphasis. It's nice. Clearly there's space big enough for cars. to leave a fall. Three depending on what the person states this. And the whole development is done on a 50 by 70 plot of land. Okay. Now usually we are, culturally as a people, we are used to bigger plot sizes. And so it's interesting for people to see that all of this has been able to fit quite comfortably around a, on a 50 by 70. Mm -hmm. Right. Give or take, we expect this to take some 20 to 25 years okay. to complete. We, what we seek to achieve is to do something very similar to what um, the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, did with Tema. You know, so, so that if you go into Tema, you have residential enclaves, you have a light industrial park, and you know, all of these amenities that are supposed to support life. So another of our products within Apollo, which Apollonia City offers is what we refer to as serviced plots. Um, these plots come with tarred roofs, um, underground power, water, and uh, ICT cabling. Um, the size of plots also range from 60 by 40s to 100 by 80s, what we typically are used to in, 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 in the country. Um, the price points range from $17,500 for the 60 by 40 up to uh, $58,000 for the for the um, what you call it for the 100 by 80 but for all of these there are payment plans which you know where a client is only required to do 20 percent as deposit and spread the rest over a period of 24 months these plots and cleaves are what we refer to as nova ridge and currently we have done about 500 service plots within the nova ridges and we have nova ridge phases one up to four which is now being sold nova ridge. so we have now just left Apollonia City and the security there is really good because there's one security gate at the front and then each development has its own security gate so that's one benefit the roads are all tarred another benefit the road to Accra is pretty good from here all the way and also it's pretty affordable and it's peaceful and relaxing out there I'm sure as it develops like in 25 years as he's saying it will, you know, be more 
occupied but at the moment because there's so much land free it's really nice and quiet if you're interested in any of these houses or plots that are available at Apollonia City just go into the link in the description below thanks so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help support my channel and also you can see part two which will be coming out very soon interviewing the CEO of Apollonia City